We have already seen how we can use drag down to copy a formula from one cell into others beneath it. For example, in this cell, we have the formula A2 plus B2. If we click in the corner, and drag down, it copies the formula down the cells, changing the number of the row as it goes, automatically doing that for you, helping you update your formulas, which is very useful for when you want to copy a formula down like this. And we've seen that it also works going across. And if we drag across, you can see as we go, it updates the column. It goes from C to D to E to F to G to H. So it changes the column as you drag across. Again, very useful if you want to copy a formula that just deals with a set range or set cells that change every time. But that's not always the case. Let's have a look at this example here. You can see in the cell A1 it says don't change. And then the others you've changed, you've changed, and here I've just put the cell address of each of the cells inside it. If I click in this cell, A8, and tell it to be equal to A1, it shows here the contents of cell A1. And there it is, equals A1. And if I drag across, you can see it's changed the formula from A to B to C to D to E. So it's changed. Now what happens if I don't want that to change? Well, what I can do is I can put a dollar sign in front of the A. Now that's called an absolute cell reference. What we've told this formula to do now is not change the column. So now when I drag across, you can see it now says don't change in all of them. And in each one, the formula is the same. Equals dollar sign A1. Now just out of interest, if I drag these down, I'll do a quick drag copy, you can see it says you've changed in all of them rather than uh, the cells. That's because it's copying A2, A3, a4, A5, A6, and you'll see that the number has changed as we've gone down. Let's go back here, and let's stop the number from changing this time. So I'm going to delete that dollar sign and put it in front of the 1. So now, the formula reads equals A, dollar sign 1. And then I drag down. It says don't change. And you can look at A, dollar one in all of them. And if I drag across, it says you've changed in all of those because that's B, dollar one in all of them, C, dollar one in all of them, D, dollar one in all of them, and E, dollar one in all of them. Now, one final thing if I don't want it to change in any direction, then I can put dollar $A, dollar $1. And that's an absolute cell reference. It does not change from A1 no matter which direction I drag it. So if I drag across, it says don't change. If I drag down, it says don't change in all of them. So you can see it's dollar $A, dollar $1. It's dollar $A, dollar $1. Anywhere where I click. And that's an absolute cell reference. Now why is that useful? Well, let's have a look at sheet 6. In sheet 6, there's a little spreadsheet that works out the income from the sale of cheese. We're selling cheese at £1.50 to a pack. And these are how many packs we sell each day of the week. So to work out the income, I would multiply the number sold by the price of a pack of cheese. So that formula would be equals B4 multiplied by B1. And there we have 
seven pound sixty, or we don't. It says seven point six. So let's just format that as currency, and you can see it's seven pound sixty. Now the problem comes if I were to try and drag that down. You can see four times one pound fifty two is not zero. Then moans and says value thirty, thirty two, thirty six, six. It's all going crazy, and it's all going crazy because as we'd expect, when you drag down, it's changing both the numbers. So here it's four times nothing, so you get nothing. Here it's three times the words number sold, so it's moaning because it can't do maths with the words number sold. So it's all gone wrong. So we need it to tell, we need to change the formula so it doesn't change this value here. So I'm going to put a dollar sign in front of the one. This formula hasn't changed or the answer hasn't. It's B4 multiplied by B$1. And now when I drag down, we get much more sensible answers. The reason being is we go down the formulas. So it's B4 times B$1, B5 times B$1, B6 times B$1, B7 times B$1, B8 times B$1, and so on. And it's not changed the cell B1 because we're now using an absolute cell reference. So we can copy the formula down without having to type it separately each time.